Hey guys, so in this video I will talk about how much should you charge for your beats and instrumentals. Now this video is it's going to be a little different from most of my videos and I will talk about why it's so important to uh, do certain things that I, I think a lot of people are not talking about. They're not talking about certain things that I, that I think I will talk about in this video. And you guys want to make sure you stick around till the end because I'm about to reveal a lot of things that I think uh, a lot of other producers are not talking about. Guys, if you enjoy my content, please consider turning off your ad blocker for my channel. Your support helps me create better and more content. All right. So the first thing is going to be, do you believe that you're worthy of charging more than your competition? Okay, that's the first question I'm asking. Now, there's a lot of people actually selling beats and they are stuck in this uh, dilemma of charging less than their competition. What they do is they think that their competition is going to uh, be reduced if they charge less for an MP3 lease, for a Wave lease, if they charge like $5 for an MP3 lease. Is this going to, uh, is this going to get them more sales? I don't think so guys I don't think so why you may ask well the simple reason for that is people actually don't really pay uh, that much for something that they find undervalued even if your beat is uh, sounding very good but if you put it to five dollars six dollars seven dollars people are gonna just uh, compare it to the uh, to, to something that's not valuable okay now if you go to any sort of branding, uh, well, you know, well-established brand uh, store, for example, if you take any phone, uh, there's like an Android phone and there's an iPhone. Okay. Now iPhone, for example, everyone buys iPhone because it's an iPhone, right? Everyone buys that for, for the Apple logo because it's an iPhone, right? No one really buys the iPhone because it's, uh, it has the, the fastest uh, GPU or whatever, right? You get my point. There's a ton of Android phones that have the same cap capacity as the, as the iPhone, but but people are gonna buy iPhone, and iPhone is quite quite expensive, right? Most of these Android phones they are not ex as as, uh, as expensive, but people only buy iPhone because they they think that uh, it's what it's worth, right? The same goes for uh, diamonds. Diamonds, you know, there are a lot of diamonds in the world, a lot of them, you know. But people only buy these diamonds because they think that uh, they they worth this value, right? Uh, same goes for NFTs, uh, right? The NFTs, uh, NFTs are not as, as as you know a single picture is not worth that much uh, unless it's, it's painted by someone who's who's really really uh, who's a big very big artist or something, right? It's not it's not ex uh, is exp expensive, but it becomes expensive because. Uh, pe because that's what people actually agreed on okay so everyone agreed on that this uh, particular art is expensive and uh, same goes for luxury goods you know luxury goods if you buy any sort of like luxury good uh, Prada uh, Gucci all these things they're making quality products but uh, I don't think it's 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 that expensive right they're when they're making it it's not as expensive as they're selling it okay but people actually just buy it for their logo for their brands people pay more money for their brands because they want to wear that original uh original gucci you know they, they want to wear that original uh supreme uh shirt right they don't want to buy it because it's a it's a super super good in quality right no one cares about quality right no one cares about quality uh i, I mean at not as much as as the the brand as the logo right that logo matters more than anything else so if you put yourself in this uh, situation that you're gonna uh, that you're gonna charge less for your music charge less for your beats uh, you're gonna end up broke because uh, people are not gonna value that all right so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go for this next thing the comparison right here so now I have this, these uh, two people here now the first one is crying and this guy's sad he, yeah uh, he's also bald and he's saying no you can't charge 400 bucks for an mp3 lease that will turn buyers off but uh, this guy who's uh, you know who has all the hair probably very uh, very 
you know, he's he looks very good, right? He says, yes, I can because he's confident, right? He's confident. He's good looking. He's got everything good in his life. Yeah, yeah as you can see. But this guy's crying. This guy's smiling. So there's a reason why I put this picture over here. Uh, is because it's telling you something that uh, the, the kind of uh, money that you charge for something. For example, a, a successful producer is going to charge $300, $400, $500 for a single MP3 release. Right? Some big producer, they charge for thousands of dollars uh, for, for an MP3. Right? People want to pay that much money to get them in their songs. Right? Certain, like Cash Money AP, for example, uh, probably you know, charges a lot of money to, to uh, uh, produce your music. Right? He's not gonna. He's not gonna uh, work with any artist who's not yet as established, right? Because uh, at the end of the day, we're all doing business here, okay? So uh, we need to sort of see the, the ups and downs and how much time we're putting in. And this guy, for example, he values his time, and he's probably also very uh, successful. This guy does not value his time, so he's not as successful. He's he's sad, and he's also very he's crying okay moving on to the next thing guys the producer number one here like i just uh, showed this picture does not value his music okay this guy does not value his music he uh, makes music but he thinks that it's uh, it's worth less and he's gonna if he's gonna charge less more people are gonna buy it that's that's what uh, he believes in next thing he provides nothing more than beats all right he just uh, uh put uploads beats in his uh, store that's all he's doing and he's not really talking to anyone he's not really talking to the customer he's not putting the time uh, in order to build that relationship with the customer not doing any of that any any of those things and this guy's heart is, is full of pirate samples that he never uses okay now this might trigger some people and say oh okay cool what's what's wrong with pirate sample man everything's wrong with pirate samples because when you pirate samples you end up not valuing your music okay you're you're stealing someone else's samples that uh, these producers created like some producer for example creates a loop and then you steal that loop uh, why do you think uh, you're gonna value your music because you just happen to steal that loop okay you're not gonna value your music anymore because you didn't put that much time you didn't put that much effort so you're just gonna go go ahead and end up uh, sending free beats to artists right this guy just steals his uh, steals uh, samples and also lets others steal his music. Okay, right? That's that, that's just what it, he does. And what ends up happening is uh, he makes very little from all the work he does, and uh, he's doing all the work in the wrong places. That's why he's uh, quite sad here in this picture. All right, guys. We're moving on to the next producer. The producer number two values his music. Okay, this guy values his music. He likes his music. He likes the fact that he, that music can actually end up making him, uh, you know, just making him certain amount of money, and that he doesn't have to work uh, a day job. He doesn't have to um, get up in the morning. He can wake up any any time he wants, and just uh, spend six five five to six hours making music and talking to artists, building connections, all these things, and then he can just go chill for the rest of the day, right? So this guy values his music, provides more than just beat, like I just said, and is ethical and doesn't steal samples, right? Very important to be ethical as a person. And guys, you want to be ethical because if you're not ethical, guys, karma strikes back all the time. And I've seen a lot of people who have, uh, who don't really respect themselves because they steal, right? From other producers, from other people, right? They, they don't really provide that much value. And when they don't provide value, they don't value themselves. They don't value their art. They don't value themselves. So that what ends up happening is uh, is it's backstab. I'm sorry, backfiring. Uh, the uh, you know it it ha ends up backfiring, right? So you want to be ethical in any business uh, whatsoever. You want to be ethical, okay? Because when you're ethical, uh, what ends up happening is uh, you end up building a lot of uh, that good energy around you, right? I'm I'm trying not to be too philosophical here but you know just uh you you end up making uh, building a, uh, the, the sort of like a like a group of people right who like your energy who like the fact that uh, you're ethical you, you uh, do certain things that they also do so 
that's actually that's actually much better than uh, just uh, you know devaluing new music and stealing other people's samples, right? And the final thing, like like I uh, I just said, does not let others steal his music, right? This guy values his music. He does not let other people steal his music, okay? And he uses beat tags in his uh, music. He uses beat tags so that other people don't uh, steal his music, and he uses content ID, which is a uh, uh, everyone knows what content ID is right it uh, scans people's uh, it, it scans the the system for your instrumentals if someone steals it right so that's a producer too right there and this is what he does he values his music he provides more than beats he's ethical and he does not let other people steal his music that's what you want to do you want to be more like producer too all right moving on to the next thing guys why do we devalue our selves or undervalue ourselves right why do we devalue or overvalue ourselves excuse me so the question is uh pretty simple but uh the only thing that we don't understand is that uh, there's some, sometimes we uh, end up you know overvaluing ourselves okay some people do actually uh, uh devalue but uh, a lot of people actually overvalue themselves so they say hey okay i'm doing certain kind of music um, maybe I'll charge one thousand dollars without even having some kind of uh, some kind of branding. Okay, okay. If if if, uh, if it wasn't for uh, if it wasn't for uh, the branding, Apple wouldn't have uh, sold so many phones. Why does Apple uh, sell so many phones? The reason why is because its brand is quite there, right? People want to pay for its brand. People want to pay for Apple's uh, certificate. Right? They bought something from Apple, right? They like Apple because they like uh, they like uh, the, the, how Apple is uh, operating, right? Certain kind of things they like about Apple, even though they're paying so much more for for us, a, a, you know, single uh, a piece of hardware, you know. Uh, even though they're paying a lot more for for a phone, but uh, they they want to pay that much because uh, they they value Apple. Okay, they value it because it has brand. Now some people don't have that brand, but they still think that they are. Uh, above uh, someone who's starting out, right? So this, this is what happens is uh, you have to actually understand. So you look at yourself in the mirror and say, "Hey, man, do I actually, uh, you know, do I actually worth that much? Right? Is is it good for me to uh, charge this much for for a single lease? Is it good for me to to uh, ask that much for an exclusive? Right? You." You have to sort of uh, understand, think for yourself in this case, guys. Uh, do not uh, let others talk you into anything and thinking your music sucks, bro. Your music sucks. Bro, it's up to you, right? You're going to listen to the other people's music. You're going to listen to your music. And uh, then you decide how much you want to sort of charge for your music. All right? Moving on to the next thing, guys. Uh, I'm gonna, I have this uh, little uh, thing that I made here. And... This is probably for the for the ones who are sort of confused and want to uh, get a little bit of uh, framework. So I, I did the MP3 lease 25, Wave 50, Sam's 75, Unlimited 100, and exclusive, uh, excuse me, exclusive for uh, 300, right? Or more than 300, uh, equal to or more than 300, okay? So uh, this uh, is something that you can sort of take and this is something that uh, if you are actually thinking, how much should you, should I, if, if I'm starting out right now, how much should I charge, right? So you can go ahead and look this up, uh, look it up and, and sort of go ahead and try to come up with your version of the, uh, this uh, pricing list. Or you can sort of go ahead and uh, copy this uh, for the time being, right? You don't want to go ahead and sell the exclusive for less. Guys, uh, understand that. When you devalue your music, a lot of people are going to be looking at you as uh, something that's not as valuable. Okay, so you don't want to devalue yourself, but you don't also don't want to overcharge other people because they're not going to buy it. Okay, this 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 is how that's what I'm thinking. It's kind of like a little confusion. Uh, it's bringing a little bit of confusion. I I can understand, but uh, it's definitely something that uh, you have to sort of think for yourself. All right, guys. So this is going to be it for this video, guys. Uh, if you enjoyed please hit the thumbs up and uh, let me know in the comments what you think, how much you, you are charging for your music, 
how much should you uh, should you charge for your music how much uh, you think other people should charge for their music guys let me know and i'll see you next time take care